Hi. Okay, so this is my table loom. It's a 32 inch, which mean, refers to the amount of weaving that you can do widthwise. Eight shafts, we'll get into that. Table loom. Um, this is the front of the loom. This is the cloth beam. This is where the fabric you have woven will be wound on as we go. And this is the front apron bar, which is where you tie your front warp to. This is the beater bar and the reed. Uh, the reed sits in the beater bar and it provides the service of pushing the weft into place. So you bring it forward. And this beater bar is attached with these two elastic strings, basically, that uh, help pull it all the way back in place. I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't have turned those around so that these extra bits were back, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, this top bar comes, it lifts off. There's some grooves in these bars here that lifts up so that this reed can come out and be replaced with another one. This particular reed, the reed that it came with, is what we call a 10 dent reed. That allows for 10 threads per inch. Now, there's always kinds of ways to, to thread it so that you can get different counts, but to one slot should equal, or 10 slots should equal approximately one inch. I am going to see if I can very carefully, because I keep dropping this bolt out. It's very short. Loosen this up. Slide that up. Remove the reed, which I do have marked the center so that I know where that's at, where the middle is. That comes in handy. And then I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, did it again, dropped it off. I'm going to take this off so that it's out of the way. So now you can see the, the, the holes where it can slide up and down. So if you have a shorter reed, you can use shorter ones. Um, you can only just weave to a maximum of where these bars are. Okay, now you can see the shafts and there are eight of them. As you see, I have dyed the heddles on the shafts so that each shaft is a different color. I have dyed the tie-up string for the lever that lifts that shaft the same color. So this is shaft one. It is a pale green. And this is shaft eight. It is a kind of reddish, rusty red color. Um, just so that those among us that might be interested in dyes, uh, this was Rit Duo, I think it's called. It's their, um, dyes for polyester. Uh, the other jacquard dyes and other dyes don't work on it because it's a it's a man-made fiber in, in these textile heddles. So as you can see, I haven't quite finished that with the heddles yet, but I have got the shafts as level as I can get them. Um, you know, for some reason, I've got some shafts that no matter what I do with them, they, they sit a little lower than the others. You lift the shaft with the lever so that you can create your shed. The shed is where the, what the weft goes through with your shuttle. And then you switch. I'm doing it one-handed at the moment, but that's because I'm being lazy. Um, and I think that's everything. Oh, this is the castle. The, yeah, um, this is the part that holds the shafts is called the castle. And for a jack loom or a countermarsh loom or a counterbalance loom, the 
shafts would be tied up underneath rather than up above. And don't ask me how each of those work differently. I can tell you about jack looms, but that's, the, I don't have a good working knowledge of all the types of looms. Uh, one other thing that I do have in here, I've installed these little lights. Um, they're USB rechargeable and they're dying. I've, I've used them quite a bit this afternoon trying to get these shafts, but they just attach with little magnets can't get it to turn off. There we go. And so I can take them out and plug them in and they'll recharge. And they don't last very long, which is a very big bummer. bummer. I don't know if that's because it's cold in this room or just because they don't last long. But they will last long enough for me to thread heddles and that's what they're there for. So I won't need them when I'm actually weaving. Um, and that's it. That's, that's the front of the loom. So Cloth beam, apron bar, beater and reed, shafts and heddles. The heddles are what the threads go through. And then of course the levers for lifting and lowering the shafts. Okay, that's it for this side of the loom. I'll take you around to the other side and we'll check it out. Okay, this is the back of the loom. On the back of the loom, you have a bar that looks just like the cloth bar that's called, or cloth beam, that's called the warp beam. This is where your warp is held while you're weaving, and it moves forward as you go. There's an apron bar here as well, and the second one is, it, it just slides in and out, and that's where you put your warp on it, and then you slide it into the strings to hold it in place. Um, you usually use something here, probably rubber bands or something of that nature to, or some more string or something like that so that they don't slide around. I'm sliding it back into that one. Um, so you just put your warp on it and then put them together and that way you don't have to try to tie on at the back. You can just put it through the end loops. You can see the shafts a little better from the back, um, how they lift with these Texolve strings. Um, not a lot to say about the back, really, other than the warp beam and that sort of thing. So that is really the parts of the loom. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's probably going to be a little longer before I get around to warping it. I want to finish taking care of the heddles today. I had some of them twisted, so I had to fix that before I could do that. And um, so I'll get the heddles partially cut, at least partially cut apart, and get the twist ties off of them and get them spread out and kind of figure out what my next step is for warping it. Basically, I've got to... Um, count my heddles and make sure I've got the right one number on each shaft push the rest to the side and uh, it'll probably be oh, maybe Saturday before I can warp because that's like a full day process so um, it'll be a little bit longer but we're getting there that's the cool thing all right talk to you later